Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw an optical illusion. I'm going to come right here in the center of my paper and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a small wavy, 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 wavy circle. Starting at the bottom, I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down to the edge of my paper on the right. And I'm going to come right back up to where I started and I'm going to make a point and draw another straight diagonal down. I come next to that and I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down and I come back to where I started and draw a point right next to it, a straight diagonal down. I'm going to go all the way around my paper making these straight diagonal lines out to the edge of my paper with these points. Keep going straight diagonal out, come right where I started, make a point, bring it out to the side of the paper, straight diagonal, make your point, bring it all the way out to the edge of the paper, straight diagonal out, make a point, straight diagonal out again, it looks like I have room for one more, straight line out, make your point, bring it right to the edge of the paper. Now I go back to the very first one that I made and I'm going to draw a curved line, one, curve line, two, curve line, three, curve line, four. I skip the next space and I go to the second point that I made. And I'm going to draw a curve line, one, curve line, two, Curve line three, curve line four. I skip the next space. Here's my next point. I'm going to draw a curve line one, curve line two, curve line three, curve line four. Skip the next space. Here is my point again. I'm going to draw one curve line, two curve lines three curved lines, four curved lines. Skip the space. Here's my point. I'm going to draw one curved line. Uh-oh, I went the wrong way. Two curved lines. No mistakes in art. Just keep going. Three curved lines, four curved lines. Skip the space. Here's my point. Let's see if I can get this going again. Curved line, one, two, three, four. Skip this space and here is my other one. One, two, three curved lines, four curved lines. Now even though I made this mistake, there are no mistakes in art. I'm not going to throw away my whole paper because I goofed up. I'm going to keep going. And just to prove that, I will show you now. So now we've made this first set of cones with these curved lines going down. Now we're going to go the opposite way in the spaces we left blank. I'm going to line up right here between this curved line and that curved line. And now I'm going to draw a curved line going down and up. Down and up. Line it up right with the ones that we just drew. Down and up. And if you go off, no big deal. Come to the next set. Curve line, curve line up, match it up with the one you just drew, and if you can't fit it, we'll all live. Now I come to this side and I'm going to draw a curve line up, curve line up, curve line up, curve line, connect. Now I'm going to do curve line opposite this, Keep going, connect. Now I come down here, curve line, curve line, curve line. If you can fit it, curve line. Once more, curve line, 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 curve line,
curve line. Oh, and one more space. One more time. Line these up. Curve line. Curve line. Curve line. And if you can fit it, curve line. So there's our drawing. <clears throat> it looks pretty intense, but you can delineate it easily with color. And that's what we're going to do next. When you color, you're going to pick two colors because you're going to do the first part of our space really dark with that color. And then I'm going to lightly color the next space down, like an AB pattern. Then the following space, I go back to dark. This is a form of shading, real simple. And I make that dark. And then the next one is going to be light. And then the next one is going to be really dark. Now the easiest thing to do is to go around and do each one of these sections first. Light, dark. Light. And then dark. Then you're going to pick a contrasting color, something that really is contrasting to the color first used. So this is red violet. Now all of a sudden I'm going to do the middle between the two with green. Same thing. Start out with dark, light, dark, And you'll have an easier time because you're going to be working flat on a table. This is up on a pedestal. And now do light. And then do dark if you can fit it in. Then I skip over and I do the next section. And I'm going to do it again. Start out with my dark. Light. Dark. Light. And then dark. And you're going to work your way all the way around your design. When you get done, I always pick a third color to color in that little oval, wavy oval. Okay, let's see what it looks like all colored in, and maybe you'll see the color pattern a little bit better. Here's my optical illusion, all finished and colored in. These are really fun. You can make them as big and as small as you want. It's all determined by the size of the paper. And it might take you a couple of times to try and draw. And even I still have certain days when I goof up too. But remember, there's no mistakes in art. Okay, bye-bye.